Hey, ke, hey, ke, hey, ke, hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to set up your virtual camera by installing and also uninstalling in case you don't want to use virtual camera. So, first of all, I'm going to show you on how to install virtual camera before you get into uninstalling it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the PAW, then click on Open Data Folder, then you're going to go into Binaries, Virtual Cam, and then click on the file that says install Wadado Virtual Cam. Click on it twice, press on yes for administrative rights, then click on the on the pop-up, click on OK, and then you should be able to have your virtual camera installed. If by any chance you don't happen to see the Wadado Virtual Cam appear on your camera list, you may have to restart your PC or Wadado. I heavily recommend restarting your PC in order for it to actually detect. But otherwise, it should be automatic anyway, so you don't have to restart your PC. In order to actually activate Virtual Camera, you can go to the PAW, then go to Settings, scroll all the way down, a little bit until you see virtual camera output. Make sure it's set to yes. And then if you want as an option, you can mirror the virtual camera output. I will advise that if you are gonna be using this for Discord, I recommend leaving this as no, since Discord has a thing where for your view, it's going to come off as mirrored, but to your other friends, it will not be mirrored at all. So just keep that in mind. It's best to leave it as no for Discord, but maybe for some other social medias, you may wanna leave it as yes, depending on preference. In order to actually use the virtual camera, please make sure that under Discord in voice and video to set your camera as Wadado camera number four. And then click on test video to make sure that things are working fine. If by any chance you ever have an issue where you see only just a green screen, let's say something like this, it probably means you may have selected the wrong camera, but if you are on number four and you still see that green error issue, then please join the Wadudo Discord server and report the issue to Tiger so that way the issue can be resolved. You may be wondering to yourself, why the heck does Wadudo have eight virtual cameras? And it's a weird question, but you know what? I'll answer it as best I can. So the reason why Wadudo has eight different virtual cameras, it's actually because of the camera system that they do use. So each of these cameras, as you can see, they all have their own virtual camera output. And you may be wondering, why would anyone need eight different virtual cameras? Like, why? This can actually be very beneficial when it comes to big collab. So let's say there are two different VTubers who are collabing with each other. And let's say both of those VTubers are going to be streaming. So for your case, you probably would want it where for your OBS setup, you want yourself to be at the bottom right corner in a very specific angle. But on your friend stream, you may want it where you're probably on this side of the stream you know, this side of their stream was also a very specific angle of your avatar. So this is actually very beneficial to use multiple cameras since this camera could be your main OBS, you know, your main personal OBS camera, but this one can actually be a very specific one for virtual camera. So that way for your friend stream, you can actually have it where you're in a very specific place and looking good while on your stream, you can also be looking good as well. This can also be good, let's say, if you're gonna have multiple other VTubers, let's say you have like four friends that you're collabing with and each of them have a completely different setup, you can be able to utilize each of these cameras so that way you are in a much proper setup for your VTuber, you know, just overall for your setup. But even then though, a lot of time, this is just like mainly a suggestion regarding the use of multiple virtual cameras. This could also be used for big production, you know, big live productions or something like that where multiple virtual cameras could be utilized. But even then though, a lot of time for the average indie VTuber, you're probably not gonna be using eight virtual cameras. And also there has been people who have been wondering like, I don't want to use these eight virtual cameras. They look like a virus to me. So here's how you uninstall those virtual cameras. So, and remember, when you uninstall the virtual cameras, you're uninstalling all of it, meaning virtual camera will not be working with Wadado Editor. So, or Wadado at all. So I would recommend if you're going to be uninstalling the virtual cameras and you still want to use virtual camera, my recommendation to you is to use Spout Cam if you don't want to use OBS, or you could just use OBS for your virtual camera. Those will be in different tutorials. But either way, what you can do is go to the PAW, go to Open Data Folder, 
then go to binaries, go to virtual cam, and then click on uninstall Waterdo virtual cam, click it twice, go through the process, and you can be able to uninstall the all eight virtual cameras like that. There's also a silent one, so if this one doesn't happen to work, you could try this one to see if it might help you out. And you may have to reboot your PC maybe if you don't see any changes, but otherwise though, if you still don't see the changes of it uninstalling properly, then please join the Waterdo Discord server and contact Tiger for, you know, for more assistance regarding the in uninstalling those virtual cameras though. I do hope that at least this tutorial is as informative regarding the virtual cameras of Waterdo and I will also apologize in advance, even though it's not my fault, I'll apologize for the fact that Wadudo has eight virtual cameras. But not to worry though, Wadudo is not a virus, you are safe, so don't worry about it. But either way though, like I said, if you don't like the eight virtual cameras, you can use Spout Cam or the OBS virtual camera. I know there are tutorials about OBS virtual camera. And as for Spout Cam, you, I'll leave in the description below regarding that program. You can easily download, anyone can use it. So, yeah. But either way, though, I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way though, with that being said though, hey, 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 goodbye bye everyone! I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye!